Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's the Oni with Thrifty Divas and we are getting together for part three of Grease Vlog, July 2024. We are starting with day 10. We are meeting my uncle and my aunt, the one from Florida and DC, respectively, down in the city for lunch. And I just want to show you some of the beautiful city sights down by the water. <laughs> my mom asked me to take a picture. And here's the port. And we are at the restaurant. That is the famous Ellie Beach diving board. I have dove many times from there. And here's our food. We have some boiled greens, some salad, some cuttlefish cooked in its own ink some vegetable fritters, meatballs, fried zucchini, fried calamari, little fish. And that night for dinner, we made it a leftover night because we were super, super hot and super tired. The city was absolutely brutal. So we cooked up all of our leftovers from the fridge and I made a really nice salad to go with it. And that was wonderful dinner. Good morning, it's me. I stink at ending vlog days, apparently. So I haven't ended vlog days in two days. It is now the morning of day 11 on my vlog. So let me just fill you in. <laughs> it wasn't much. So, the one vlog night I didn't finish was the night before last, which was the day that my mom went out to lunch with my uncle and my cousin, and then little man and I stayed back. She got home, we went to the old city. Well, not the old city. We went to a place called Naora, which is near the old city, but not in the old city. The old city is the medieval city, you know. Um, and then we just had dinner there, we came back, and then I made us ice cream sundaes, which little man has been begging me to do. And then we went to bed. Then yesterday, we met up with my uncle and my aunt that's here from DC in, in the city of Rhodes. They had a lawyer's appointment. So they're like, oh, meet us down there. My uncle's like, it won't take too long. We went down there. We waited for them for like two hours, possibly more, about two hours. It was about 20 degrees hotter down there. No wind. It was it was rough. And the place that my uncle wanted to go to lunch at, that we were supposed to all meet for lunch at, was right on the beach. But because it was like down there, there was like no wind. It was so hot. I showed you the food. It was just brutal. It was brutal. Then we had the long walk back to the car. By the time we got to the car, the car was like an oven little we thought little man was gonna pass out i had to stop on the way home and pull over run into a store grab ice bottles of water i poured some on his head took the ac forever to crank in the car because of the heat just it was brutal brutal i try not to go into the city during the day especially uh for leisure um because it's not <laughs> but anyway so we did that uh we came back and we um, just chilled out here. The landscaper came and we had to handle some business because we're changing the contract. So we did all that and then it was a leftover night, right? Leftover dinner night. And then we had fun just, um, we were playing music on the Bluetooth speaker and having like a loud sing-along with Little Man. It was pretty fun. Um, and then we went to bed and that is it. Uh, I'm glad I got to see my aunt before she left she was leaving listen to this she was leaving last night so we had lunch we 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 parted ways at about 3 30 or something she was leaving at mid no 2 a.m what did they say it was something crazy her flight was leaving at like midnight or 2 a.m from here and then she was flying to istanbul then to London, then to BWI. No, thank you. No, thank you. 
even if the ticket's like what five six hundred dollars more that's worth every penny to only make one stop but anyway i don't know how she's doing that and at that hour that's insane absolutely insane but yeah i literally got to see her hours before she left so i'm glad i at least got to do that it's crazy like we see family more when they're here than we do like back home you know like i see my my i don't even see my aunt from dc like once a year back home but then like when we're all in roads we see each other my uncle from florida i haven't seen him in way too long several years and then uh you know he's here now and we've been seeing him i've seen him two or three times already which is great but anyway yeah so right now i am going to make a french toast bake like i did last year if you watch those vlogs but i made it for little man and my husband last year now i'm gonna make it for my mom and little man she didn't experience it so with all the extra bread we have i'm gonna make a little french toast bake for breakfast and see what we have planned for the day my mom said she wants to go back to the old city because there's like a byzantine cross pendant that she really wants to buy herself i guess it's been like marinating in her head and she really wants it it's bothering her so i said okay and then she's like well that means we have to go back to the old city i said i don't mind going back to the old city i love the old city so we're gonna uh, do that i have to show you if you watched last year's vlogs by the way i linked parts one through four of last year in part one of this year in the description box they're all linked there for you so last year, if you saw, I got that like custom closet built for me in my bedroom. Well, before I got here this year, my mom and my stepfather had him come and build one in the guest room. So now we have this beautiful closet in the guest room, but my mom wants my help, she said, to like load it with like extra pillows and sheets or whatever. She wants to figure out like what to do in it and how and whatever. So I think we'll bang that out this morning too and then decide and then we definitely got to get to the beach today and I don't know I just got to talk to my mom about what she wants to do she's inside working on her laptop again I told you she's already working so she's teaching online and uh yeah that's about it for now sorry I didn't end the last two nights because <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know what happened anyway all right I will see you guys in a little bit let's go make a french toast bake okay all right bye all right, so I just cut up some of our leftover bread. I have some eggs and I have a can of milk. It's kind of like an evaporated milk. So I did four eggs and the whole can of milk and I am adding a healthy dose of cinnamon, of course, and then some sugar to your liking. We're gonna beat that all up and then we just pour that over all the bread. And then I'm putting that into the oven at about 365 for about, 30-ish minutes and I don't have maple syrup and I don't want to use straight honey so I'm actually going to take some honey and I'm going to water it down to try to make like a honey syrup so we just add some water it is done and then there's our syrup so everybody enjoyed it and that was breakfast Hi, huge random praying mantis, just hanging out. This thing is giant. It's like six inches long. Yay, look at what I just did in the guest room. So we had this in the blue room. Um, actually, my aunt and uncle put it there. There's a long story behind this TV. I bought it on my honeymoon. <laughs> anyway, when, when we were here. Um, but they took it out of my room because they thought it was too small. So they put this behemoth in my room, which there's no need for because it takes up my entire dresser and I only get one channel. So uh, that was dumb. Anyway, so they just put this in the blue room. It wasn't hooked up. It wasn't nothing. It was so stupid. So I'm like, hold on. Oh, also, I brought this... Um, um, what do they call it? Region free DVD player from home, right? I bought it, bought it here, uh, cause I was going to put it in the living room so we could watch movies. Little did I know they left a DVD player when they moved out, but it was like behind the TV and I didn't even know it was there. So I'm like, great. I bought this, spent money on it, carried it all the way here. Don't need it. But then I was like, hold the phone. I'm a little slow. I'm a little slow. 
So I just, I'm very proud of myself too, because I'm zero wire inclined. Hooked up my honeymoon TV, hooked up the region free DVD player. We're all set. Now we can watch movies in here. This is the best AC in the house currently. Um, I don't know, but now it's like a good, like a great guest room if anybody ever stays. This is the new closet that he built, the same guy that built mine. This is like silly, but my mom said it's not. She's like, no, we need the space. I'm like, all right, whatever. I feel like it's a waste taking up the whole top with four pillows, but it is what it is. And then we're gonna put like more blankets down here. There's a rod in there. Uh, we bought some hangers. So if anybody stays in here and what did I put in here? I put some sheets in here. And this one is still empty, so we're still working on it. And then, uh, yeah, we've been taking naps in here because, like, anyway, we need all new splits. All new splits, and they're brand new, but, well, I won't even talk about that. But let's just say somebody else picked them out and put them in. They're not strong enough, and it wasn't the best brand they could have picked so anyway so now we need all new ones that was a giant waste of money okay well, that's it that's the guest room for now <laughs> that's why it's a mess and uh my tons of luggage now that i have to figure out what i'm doing yeah see it was right here it was right here not hooked up and we don't have cable so what were we gonna do with that and it's not a smart tv so anyway in the time that I moved the TV off of this dresser, my mom came in and did that. I was like, <laughs> ah, she's funny. Anyway, yep. TV serves a much better purpose now. So we just had an earthquake. <laughs> There's never a dull moment. Uh, the epicenter, whatever it was, 4.7. And then it, you know, whatever. I'll put the picture here of the map. We were all sitting in the living room. Well, I was standing. And then we all looked at each other and we're like, earthquake, come on. Yeah, that was fun. Anyway, we're gonna um, hopefully get ready to go to the beach now. Yes. It's very windy down here today. You see little man struggling to carry the two swim rings, but he can at least carry something. We got bags and bags of stuff down here and a chair and all that. He can carry some swim rings. Yeah, but no, he can't. So I got to take one from him anyway to add to the stuff I'm carrying. All right, let's make our way down to the water. To see what we're working with. Well, it is a super wild one today. My mom and little man tried it and my mom said, no, no, these waves are kicking our butt and I don't feel like getting beat up today and this is dangerous. So we do have a reason for why these waves are so big. Can you guess? You'll hear the answer in just a little bit. Well, this kind of sucks. So the waves are too rough for my mom and little man to go swimming in because of the earthquake. And uh, I have one chair here, so it's not like we're hanging out. Oh well, I guess uh, today's another wash with the beach. I'm getting really upset because I feel like I, I don't know. Time's flying. I haven't really done anything I want to do. I have three days with little man after my mom leaves. Maybe I can try to cram everything in that I want to do then. But until then, my mom's been saying for like a straight week now, oh, I only have a couple days left. I only have a couple days left. When she had like nine left. And therefore mine has... All 
right, so we're trying to work with what we were given. And little man is uh, building sand structures and moats and stuff. So he's having a different kind of fun time. And my mom and I are just kind of walking along the front of the water. Of course, little man went in as we were leaving. He thought he could get one over on us. He's pretending to fall. Cool thing, my uh, aunt stopped by that has a house next door, my Greek aunt, and she uh, made us some fresh grape leaves and they were amazing. Not a total loss today. I got a whole bunch of clay to add to my collection. Now I was looking for clay. I was looking and looking and looking and couldn't find any. Didn't understand what was happening these uh that'll go in my rock pile um and i was confused and i said what the heck what is the water so high up it pulled all the clay back i don't understand but then i found a little pile of clay that someone else must have walked around and collected but then they left it there so i was like that's why i can't find any clay today so yeah we got a lot of clay to bring home today to add to our clay box some pretty cool pieces they've sped this up so it doesn't take as long for you but I just wanted to show you all right well we made the most of it I got a ton of clay for my collection just got out of the shower my hair is so thin guys it makes me so sad I had such thick curly gorgeous hair my whole life you don't understand my mom bought me a uh, really high potency biotin um, before I left for here, but I didn't bring it with me. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't get too much worse before I get home, but it's been this long, right? And I'm just gonna start loading up on that because it like makes me depressed. Like it really does. It's sad to like watch the change. Oh man, anyway, but I mean, it's wet, which is, looks its worst but anyway so yeah we made the best of it i guess we um little man made sand castles and i collected my clay we just kind of stood at the foot of the water letting the waves hit our feet then we all came back and showered had a tiny little snack because we were starving my stepfather uh facetimed us because today is his birthday so i left him a huge bag of gifts there too if you saw part one, I did a little here. I brought a few things, um, but he just, he said his favorite thing was the, uh, the Kona coffee that I got him. If you watch all my videos, you know, and I think we actually might end up going to the city tonight. So that's cool. Cause originally my mom said she didn't want to go, but, uh, I don't know. She said her stomach's bothering her right now. So hopefully she feels better and we go. Remember, I told you she wants to buy that Byzantine cross that she saw for herself and she wants to try to get my stepfather a nice present for when she gets back. And yeah, that's about all for now. I think I'm going to go paint my nails while I'm waiting. And I'll let you know what we decide when, when we decide what we're doing. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye. All right. I painted my nails. I love it. This color makes me happy. It's very bright. This is Nailtopia bird of paradise and then i used uh a jet set top coat so hopefully anyway i should have done my hair before i did my nails because now i'm probably going to mess them up when i try to put some gel in my hair but we are going to head out to the city meanwhile my hair is looking like this <laughs> lovely lovely all ready ready to head to the city Let's roll out. My nails are dry and I'm all done. Let's go. All right, we are entering the old city through one of the 11 gates. There are 11 gates into the medieval city. This is like one of the moats. We spent a long time looking at this last year when we went into the palace and all that, but this is the walled city.
And yes, cars are still allowed through. The oldest, most well-preserved medieval city in Europe. And one of my favorite places to come. And something super cool happened as we were walking. They were taking wedding photos. I love this so much. And you can pause this here. This is the clock tower that's 500 years old. I still want to go there. It was gifted by Turkey. <clears throat> and there's a mosque right next to it that we have kept as a mosque. So we are at another rooftop restaurant eating dinner and I see a cruise ship in the background. It is getting sunset time, so everything is looking beautiful. There's the clock tower again. As it gets darker, we're gonna get a whole new perspective up here too, but this is where we're eating tonight. We got a salad, some fresh baked pita that little man already jumped into, and now you can see nighttime. Everything lit up differently. And here's my pasta. We got some Greek baked meatballs. Little man got penne with butter. How boring. There's the clock tower all lit up. And my mom's took a little longer to come, but she got a mushroom cream sauce with penne. We were craving pasta tonight. We are back home. It is after 11. I am going to get ready for bed. It's a long drive. Dinner took a long time. We had to wait like almost 40 minutes for our check. Not even kidding. <sighs> they usually hold you hostage here to give you your check. It takes a really long time, but today was exceptional. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna get ready for bed. I guess that ends today. I don't know what we're doing yet. Um, I'll probably talk to my mom real quick again before bed, see if we have any plans for tomorrow. But that is going to do it for today. So again, more beach and food. I feel like that's all there is, but I'll talk to you guys in the morning once I know what we're doing better. All right. So good night. Ta-ta for now. Good morning, everyone. I've been up for a while now, a couple hours actually. I woke up with a headache because my like neck was like, oh, that hurt. My neck was like all cricked up on my headboard. Anyway, um, plan for currently, right now, we are going to stop by the carpenter's shop. Um, the same guy who like built those custom closets and their kitchen cabinets and everything. We're stopping by the carpenter's shop because we want to talk to him about building boxes, encasements for over the air conditioner split backs. So, you know, when you have a split, you have to have that unit separately. Oh my God. Japanese hornet. That's cool. Love those things. Anyway, uh, so let me show you. Like this. Like this. So every split has its own, like, outside unit. See? And because of the 
uh, salt breeze from the, the beach, uh, it's not good for things. So we were gonna ask him about building encasements, custom for all of those, um, the new ones, not these, but I told you we wanna get new ones cause these are all, pardon my French, shitting the bed slowly but surely. Um, so that's what we're doing. And then after we do that, that's boring, right? But necessary. Then after we do that, we are heading to a beach down the road. We've actually been to the restaurant before in this vlog and last year, but um, that was attached to it. It has like the beautiful sunsets. Uh, it was when my stepfather was still here, but they have a beach. Like you walk down the stairs and then the beach is there. They have their own beach chairs. You can order stuff. So we're going to spend the day there and we will probably maybe order like toasted sandwiches and sodas. I don't know. Oh, let me show you also. My mom surprised me last night. She bought my stepfather a gorgeous, it was his 60th birthday, so it was a big one and she's not there for it. But she wanted to buy him something really nice. So she bought him like, like a $500 bracelet. Anyway, shh. Oh, well, he'll get it by the time you see this. <laughs> anyway, I didn't want to ruin the surprise, but he doesn't watch my stuff anyway. So I was looking at these rings, okay? It's the Greek key all the way around, 14 karat gold. I was just looking. And then the woman was weighing it to tell me how much it was. And my mom's like, throw that on there too. So my mom bought me this ring and I was like, well, for my birthday too, like joking around. And she said, no, no, I wanted to get you something nice. Cause I have like a celebration in July for something. Um, she's like, and now you just made it easier for me. So she bought me this ring. I woke up swollen. So I took it off my middle finger and put it on my ring finger. Um, but I have a picture here from last night. I'll put here on my, that's where I'll wear it on my middle finger. 14 karat gold Greek key ring. So gorgeous. And she gave us a deal. It was only 105 euro. So absolutely beautiful. I love it. She surprised me so much. I did not expect it at all, but she's like, yeah, throw that in too. I'm like, what? Like I was going to buy it for myself, honestly, but yeah, I love it. So nice. Anyway. Okay. So special. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. That's the big exciting stuff for right now. <laughs> oh man, guys. It's, but I don't know. I feel like we're not doing anything. I, don't know, I was watching the grease vlogs from last summer and I'm like, man, we did so much more last summer, like, and I had so much to show you, and the summer was not. But whatever, I'm bringing you along with me, right? The good, the bad, and the ugly. It is what it is. This is the vacation. So, uh, I don't know. Yeah, we're going to get ready, pack up a few things, go to the carpenter, and then head to that beach. And I guess I'll see you guys there. Ta-ta for now. All righty, we're all ready for the beach uh again we have to stop off of that guys first i have my bathing suit on uh this i said it is attached to a restaurant however i did pack a little cooler packed a small little cooler with two huge bottles of water a couple cups too uh and some cold fruit oh and some chips because then we'll just like order food from the stand and sodas and whatever not the stand, the entire restaurant, but they bring it to you. They have waiters there. So yeah. All right, let's rock and roll. Here is the towel bag I got from Jumbo. And we are at the carpenter's place. So that's where he builds all his stuff. On the left is the big work studio. On the right is more of a little storage type area, I think. I feel like this could have been done with a phone call, but whatever. We're on our way to the beach. Wanted to share the drive with you.
We have arrived and we are about to pull in, see if we can find a spot, and we did. Then you have to walk down the stairs, kind of from the restaurant portion parking lot down to the beach. They do charge five euro a chair for the day, which a lot of the public beaches do. And then they have waiter service also. So I ordered a Coke Light. Well, I'm sorry, a Coke Zero. And a uh, little man got a fresh squeezed orange juice. Here's our current view. And we ordered a few toasted sandwiches. My mom got tuna. They're four fifty each. Can't beat it. All right. So we've been here for I don't even know two or three hours, and we are heading out now. We will see what the rest of the day brings. So peace for now. Hey guys, checking in again. So after we came back from the beach. We had a couple pieces of fruit, took showers, uh, took a little bit of a nap, and then we're just like waking up and drinking water and stuff. I think you got a lot of sun today again. Um, now we are about to get ready and just head to this local place for dinner. It's a, it's a total tourist spot, um, but we know of the people and We've been coming here for years and uh, it's actually our third time going there this trip. And I'm going to have the uh, pesto pasta. I already know what I'm having. <laughs> so not very Greek, but that's what I'm in the mood for. So, all right, let's get ready. Gotta get clothes for little man too. And uh, let's just head to dinner. It's like 7.30 now, 7.40, just to give you an idea. This is the place I always order my vegetable fruit smoothie from. Little man ordered the kids fish fingers. We got a salad. My mom got the veggie burger. They have one of the best veggie burgers around here. And we got, we tried a new salad. It was really good. And I got the pesto, like I said. We came home and I made everybody ice cream cones with these awesome colored cones. I picked the black one because I thought it was cool. It's all natural colors. Hello, my loves. It is like noon now or later. Um, I had a rough morning because I had a super rough night. My stomach was absolutely killing me. I think it was the ice cream. And it's funny because my mom and I at the beach yesterday just had a conversation about how I don't understand my relationship with ice cream or pizza. Um, Cause I don't know. But especially like with ice cream, sometimes it doesn't bother me at all. Sometimes I'm fighting for my life. Last night was one of the times where I was fighting for my life. So it carried over to this morning. I'm not feeling the greatest, but I did all my uh, remedies, which uh, one of my sworn by remedies is Mastija water. Uh, seltzer with mastic gum extract in it. Um, it's from an island in Greece, specifically an island named Hios. Um, and it comes from the mastic trees and they, it's a very specific flavor and we use it in uh, pastries and drinks and stuff. But anyway, uh, so that always helps my tum-tums. Um, Brett bought me a case of it for, for Christmas for 50 bucks. Just jumping in to say now it's $150 for a pack of 12. So I guess the 50 was a great deal. Uh, which is insane because here it's a euro 20 at the store or something like that per bottle. But anyway, um, so yeah, I don't know. We're not going to do, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to do anything too leisurely today, but I think we're going to run to possibly an electronic store. We want to check out the splits that we want to order for next year to replace some of these. Um, we do want to hit up a supermarket to grab a few things to leave here. There are, I started the tradition, of course, 
And my mom's like, you're so much better at it than me. Just go do it. So she, like, just like canned milk if the expiration date is good. Have Make sure to have coffee here. Make sure to have water here. Um, make Just make sure to have the stuff for when whoever shows up first shows up and they are good to go. Uh, another one of those staples that I've added, I added for my mom last summer was cat food and dog food because I know full well that as soon as she gets here, she's going to want to feed a cat or a dog. So I took care of that for her. And yeah, oh, by the way, about pebbles, I named, did I tell you I named the cat pebbles? I don't know. I said it just felt like a pebbles to me. So the cat is pebbles. Um, we were looking through pictures from last year and pebbles is one of the cats from last year. Well, one of the kittens from last year. So pebbles made it. And yeah, we compared the markings on its face and everything and it's pebbles from last year. So that's awesome. Uh, what else? Oh, and uh, two days ago, I spoke to Verizon and they're trying to tell me I never had the international thing on my plan. I'm like, really? Because um, I have the receipt for when they charged me for three lines and I have the text that says, thank you for adding the international plan. This was back on June 14th. Uh, and all of this stuff. So anyway, so I had to pay like another hundred bucks to just have it until I get back home. And because at this point when we did it, the $10 a day or the hundred dollars a month was the same, like, because I had about 10 days left or something when we did it nine or 10 days left. So I was like, do whatever you want. It doesn't matter because it's the same. And then I have to argue the bill when I get back. Thanks, Verizon. I've been a customer for 24 years. They make sure to remind me of that of every single time I call. But it's like, what does that do for me? Not much. Anyway, yeah, so at least I have the international plan now, so that's good. And uh, I don't have to worry about traveling and all that. Um, also, did I tell you my mom is having an eye surgery the day I'm traveling home? I wanted her to wait, but she like couldn't wait. There was no dates that worked. So unfortunately, I won't be there with her, but my stepfather will. Our flight, if everything's on time, gets into JFK at 8.05 p.m. By the time we get our bags, go through customs, get to the car, get home. It's going to be 11 easy that night. So uh, and she's having it in the morning, so I won't, you know, see her that day, but I'll see her the next day. And uh, we figured out that when she's going into surgery and after surgery and all that, I'll be in a layover in Frankfurt for five hours so we can talk at least so that's good but yeah so we're gonna do some kind of errandy things today i think my uncle texted us but then never got back to us so i don't know if he wants to meet up the one from florida <clears throat> and uh we'll see my my other aunt and my uncle the ones that moved here uh texted us wanting to see if we wanted to go to lunch and my mom was like you know what my days are like too short now like in number to travel an hour and a half there to have lunch and an hour and a half back to kill up the whole day you know they don't come to this side of the island they always want us to go there so and my aunt was like i understand so that was the end of that and yeah those are all of my updates and last night i didn't end the vlog i don't think right but i made everybody ice cream cones and uh we went to bed but then my night got a little more exciting. But yeah. All right. So I will uh, catch up with you guys in a little bit. Let you know what we're doing. We are at the market. Just going to grab a couple things like I told you. I didn't film the whole experience, but I did want to film this. Look, they have almond Ajax and some cool cherry stuff. Here's all the stuff we got. Got a whole bunch of water so that we can also have some extra for when we arrive next year. We have a whole like water storage cabinet, extra paper towels, toilet paper, some snacks to bring home. And little man and I found these cool things. They're from Lithuania. These bubble teas, fruit bubble teas. All right, so I am making one of my favorite desserts. Um, I don't know what this is called in English. I have to ask my mom and put it 
I think it's semolina. If it's not semolina, I will write it um, on the screen, but this is coarse semolina, and my favorite dessert looks a little like that. So you toast this 500 grams in one and a quarter cups of olive oil, and then you add uh, two and a half cups of sugar and three cups of water and put it in a mold, and that's it. So we decided to go out to dinner. I love this restaurant. Look, there's a pelican just hanging out. It joined us for all of dinner. And this is our view. This is where the boats leave for Halki. If you remember last year, we went to that island. And here's our food. We have some um, salted cod, different salads, calamari, deliciousness. And then we had some fun on our way back. There's a ton of mountain goats on this road. You have to be careful because they cross in flocks. They always scare me because I don't know how unpredictable they are, but there's a ton, so enjoy the ride. That guy is huge. That looks like a horse. That is a horse. No, it's a goat. Oh, Jeez, wild mountain goat. Mountain goat. Hey everyone, so shocker, I forgot to end last night's vlog yet again. Um, you may hear repeats because this is uh, future Theoni filming. So we got back from dinner and then my um, uncle had brought over some pastries plus that dessert I made and we sat back talking for several hours. He left uh, a little after 10 again, but that was actually really, really nice. Um, and then we went to bed and that was it. So I think that's how we're going to end this day because this vlog is super long. And um, I already have enough material that we're already into the next part, well into the next part. So I'm going to end it here. Hope you enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. That is what the YouTube algorithm uses to spread this channel to other people. Please subscribe if you haven't already. We would love to have you as a permanent part of the family. And until the next one, stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you.